Hey, second grade, this is Mrs. Alar here. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, and I am here to go over the feedback and the solution for your problem of the day for Tuesday, April 7th. So let's go ahead and read our problem of the day. We know that when we see words, we stop and say, read three times to solve today. So let's go ahead and read it three times to figure out what we need to do. The problem of the day says, Brian knew there are 365 days in the year. He knew there were 366 days in last year. How many days are in both years together? Let's read it another time. Brian knew there are 365 days in this year. He knew there were 366 days in last year. How many days are in both years together? So for my third read, I'm going to take out my marker, my pen, my crayon, whatever you have at home, and let's mark up our word problem so that we know what we need to do. So we underline what we know, and we also underline what we need to find out. So we know that there are 365 days in this year. I'm going to underline that. He also knew that there were 366 days in last year. So we know our two numbers. It wants to know how many days are in both years together. So when we're asking how many are in both together, we know that we have to add to find out our answer or our solution. So we know that the equation is 365 plus 366 equals box or blank. We don't know how many days are all together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solve this problem using a strategy. So you know lots of strategies. You know 100 tens and one chart. You know break apart. You know number line. You know so many strategies to solve addition problems. But what I'm noticing is that there's a six and a five in the ones place. And I know that that shows that I'm going to regroup. And so I'm going to choose my hundred tens and one strategy to solve this problem because I know that I'm going to be able to visually see regrouping in that strategy. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my hundreds, tens, and ones chart. So I have my hundred tens and ones chart on my paper and I'm going to go ahead and solve. Let's look. The first number is 365. There's a three in the hundreds place. I'm going to go ahead and draw three hundreds. Luca, don't bark at me. There's also a six in the tens place. I'm going to go ahead and draw six tens. Notice that I'm keeping them in a ten frame. And there's a five in the ones place. So I'm going to go ahead and draw five ones. Now that I have my first number drawn out, I'm going to go ahead and draw my second number. I see a three in the hundreds place, which means I need to draw three hundreds. I see a six in the tens place, which means I need to draw six tens, which equals 60. So one, two, three, four, five, six, again in that ten frame. And I see a six in the ones place, so I'm going to draw six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now because I drew my ones and my tens in that 10 frame, I can easily see that I have more than 10 here and more than 10 here. So that means I need to regroup and bundle. So I know that I'm going to count out 10 ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to bundle them up, cross them out and draw my arrow and create a new 10. Well, oh my goodness, I see that I have more than nine tens as well. So I know that I need to make a new hundred because I know that ten tens equals one hundred. So I'm going to count out ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. I know that if I group up ten tens, cross them out, and bundle them up, I get a new hundred. Now I'm going to go ahead and count what I have left. So I see that there is one one. So I have one one. I see there's one, two, three tens. I know that three tens is 30. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundreds. And I have that seven hundreds is 700. So I see 700 plus 30 plus 1. I know that 700 plus 30 plus 1 is 731. And I know that I have 731. And what were we talking about in this problem? We were talking about days. So my answer is 731 days. I hope this was helpful to figure out your problem of the day for Tuesday, April 7th. Have a good afternoon.